Hello, hello, good morning everybody. Hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. Um, I just wanted to quickly jump in to talk on gratitude and what is gratitude, being thankful, being appreciative, you know, to either God or to someone who gave us or did something for us. Um, when you have a heart of gratitude, it's like a magnet, a magnet for God's blessing. It's like when you thank God for what he did for you, he's definitely going to do another one for you. It's applicable to us human beings. When you do something for someone and the person comes back to appreciate you, you will be so moved in your spirit to do again or to do more. But gratitude is, I'm going to break it, you know, break it into two parts. Um, the first one I want to talk on is being grateful when things are not happening for you and it's happening to other people. What do you do? Because when you are happy that it's happening for someone else, indirectly you are attracting that same blessing. It's like magnets. You know, they say in physics, like pole attracts while unlike pole repel. If you want God to bless you, maybe with a car or with a house or something like that, and then a friend of yours bought a new car, all you need to do is to tap into that blessing. It's just for you to be happy with the person. Appreciate God. Thank God. And God who sees your heart, in no long time, he's going to bless you back. But the problem is, when you see something happen for someone else, we start to get jealous. We start to feel, why would it happen for this person? Why not me? God doesn't operate that in that way. And God doesn't need permission from you to bless someone. And that's how people miss out in their blessing. Instead of you to appreciate that, the network is kind of not stable here. I'm at the parking garage, so that's why you know it's kind of in and out. But I just turned that into my career. So, what I'm saying is that when you like something or when you appreciate what God did for someone, it's gonna come back to you because you are attracted to that blessing. But when you like that, like you like something, but you don't appreciate it in other people, you are not going to get it because you are not attracted to it. You are just, you just want to have it or you want to question God, why did you bless this person? Why not me? That's why you see people with grateful heart, with hope, who are happy for other people things are always happening for them because they are attracting that blessing they are speaking into it i'm going to give you guys an example like there was a time a friend of mine started a business and i was so happy you know i went there i prayed and then i asked what's the color you know of your house what is going to be your deco like i said okay he told me i said okay i went to the store I bought all the food mats. I bought some kitchen utensils. So, and you know, when I dropped it off, he started praying for me that she goes, "They know, you know, in all this time, God is gonna bless you." And sometimes it could be just pray. I can just pray. I say, "Hey, Father, thank you for blessing someone." And I'm telling you for sure, that same blessing or even greater one will come back to you. So I just want us to have that open mind. To be happy for other people when things start to happen for them that's how you draw your own blessing or they can even show you the way or teach you how to go about it but when you start being jealous start feeling like why should this person be blessed or some of us even go as far as not even talking to the person again not picking up their calls and all that and automatically you see them as a threat or your enemy these are not friends. The only thing is just that 
your success is post the type of friends they are to you so you need to be careful who you keep around you because some friends are like vulture when you are in your down moments that's when they're gonna be your best friend that's when they're gonna hover around but when they see that you are out of that pit they don't want you to be out of that pit that's they're gonna leave because they don't want your success but a real friend will stick with you both in thick and in thin so I don't want us to start being jealous when things are happening for people and they are not happening for you there are, you know there are seasons it may not be your time but if you tap into that person's blessing God will in turn bless you. There's no way you can tap into what you despise. There's no way you can tap into what you don't want. It's not going to happen. It's not going to flow. It's like getting a magnet and a wood. It's not going to happen. But when you get to magnets, you see them, you know, they are trust, you know. So gratitude is everything. And God sees our heart, sees if it's genuine. And if it's genuine, he will drop your own blessings. So I want us to keep the heart of gratitude. Be happy for people when they are winning. Let's cheer them up. It's not about you. It's not you who decides when someone is going to be blessed. It's God. It's even in Psalm 70. He said, every blessing comes from me, from east, north, south, and west. I, the Lord, choose this when to bless you. So therefore, we shouldn't be bitter about someone else's blessing. Rather, we should rejoice, we should celebrate with them so that ours will come. And when someone is being blessed, it's not time for that person to become your enemy. Because if that person becomes your enemy, you are the one who is totally losing. You are the one who is missing out. Because that person would have showed you how they made it happen for them. They would have showed you the way or how to do it or how to become better. But because you are bitter, you are gonna miss. And again, God is watching your heart. Because you are not happy with the person. It's not going to come to you either. And when you check out people who are so ungrateful, nothing is really happening in their life. Even if it's happening, it's just on a very minimal level. But watch out people who are very grateful, who are generous, who are supporting people. Their cost is so enlarged. So I just want to encourage us, I hope today, that will key into being grateful for everything anyone did for us. I appreciate it. That's the way to attract your own blessing. And not just that. God will in turn bless you for seeing your honesty, the genuineness of your heart. It's only the devil who doesn't like to appreciate. It's only the devil who um, questions why should something happen for someone else why not me and that's just the same way Lucifer was thrown down from heaven because of the pride why would all glory not be given to him we are indirectly doing that why would this not happen for me why would it happen for Mr. A or for Mr. B so let's try to be grateful let's try to appreciate people I hope this helps someone I hope someone will realize that all blessings come from God and that when you are happy with other people it will come back to you so let's not you know keep holding our blessings down just because of our selfish attitude just because we don't want to see good things happen to other people just because we feel we are so entitled that it should be happening to us no God doesn't work like that. He works in his way. He works in his perfect time. And God uses men to bless other people. So be happy, be grateful.
grateful when things are happening for me. I hope this blesses you God. I hope this will change your mindset and I hope this will make you a better person to the glory of God's name. In Jesus' name. Father Lord, I pray that today that you will wear the garment of gratitude. Gratitude to you and gratitude to our fellow human being that will show appreciation in the little thing, in the smallest thing, in every good deed, oh God, to the glory of your name. That will not take advantage or question your will in people's life to the glory of God's name. In Jesus' name.